Howdy there, folks. This is Luke Charles Kuhn at Kuhn Truck and RV, your little RV specialist. Started by our mom and dad in 1976, we are proud to be a second-generation family-owned and operated business. My friends call me Luke, and my sisters call me Charlie, but you can call me anytime at 440-OHIO-RVs. A member of our growing team would be happy to help you. Please check out our website at truckandrv.com to view all of our inventory. Again, that's truckandrv.com. There's a direct link to this particular RV in the video description below. If you follow that link, it will take you to our website where you can see the price and information on this unit. Once this unit is sold, that link will be removed. We are a full service dealer offering a warranty as well as financing packages. If you have any questions, please give us a call at 440 Ohio RVs. Again, that's 440 OHIO RVS. For sale today, we have a 1999 Chinook Concourse with 22,427 miles. Alrighty, folks, here we are inside of this 1999 Chinook Concourse. As usual, I'm going to start in the front, work my way towards the rear. I'm going to do my best to give you a good idea of the overall floor plan as well as the overall condition of this unit. Here at Coon Truck and RV, we are proud to be a second generation family owned and operated business. All of these RVs go through the same inspection process before they hit the web. We'll do a full demo with you at the time of sale, answer any questions you may have. Got the renowned Chinook quality in this unit. It's very, very clean throughout. One piece molded fiberglass body. Got about 73 and a half inches of headroom here at the air conditioner, 74 and a half here at the rear, uh, excuse me, here at the rear, and then about 76 and a half here. Got a smoke detector. Got your air conditioner here in the center of the unit. It's controlled via the thermostat here. This also controls the propane furnace. Got a fantastic fan here. It's gonna act like an attic fan at night. Open the windows up, you'll get the cool outside air in here. Got a light switch for these accent lights, 12 volt power, TV coax coming in. Got a 110 AC plug-in. These speakers you see throughout the coach are wired to a tuner head unit up here. I'll show you that a little later on. So you can play music throughout the coach. Got another 110, light switch for that accent light. Got some screw holes there. Here's that tuner I was talking about. This is where the VCR would have been. We've removed that and added a 12 volt charging station here. Got a solar panel controller. Got another one of those speakers. So we've got these two chairs here. You can spin these. They do slide forward and backwards a little bit. This table comes up and out like so. Bit of a cup mark there. Got a window that opens with a screen here on this side. Got a shade you can pull down for privacy. One ten power there. It's the microwave plugged into that. Got your TV antenna there. Got a window that opens with a screened portion here. Got a shade you can pull down for privacy. Nice big windows so you can see the beautiful locations you can go to in the Chinook. Got three belts here on the couch. Got a total of five belts here in this unit. This is a jackknife sofa. So you're basically gonna pick up here in the front. This is gonna come out. I'm gonna go ahead and drop some pictures now so you can see what that looks like and get some measurements. The jackknife sofa bed measures approximately 72 inches north-south or front to back and 48 inches east-west or side to side. There is room to move through with the bed down and the dinette seats all the way forward. It's possible to sleep east-west and put your feet on the dinette seats if that fits your needs. Down here along the floor, got a little discoloration there on the carpet. Got storage beneath the rear swivel seat. Storage beneath the oven. Got a little safe back there. Also storage here. Moving now into the center of the coach. Nice countertop. Two basin stainless sink. Got 12 volt power there. 
Got the water heater on off that ignites itself. Got the Chinook factory Coca-Cola bottle opener. Got a Noxus gas detector. Got our fuse panel. You'll find your 110 breakers and your 12 volt fuses there. A little bit of water mark there in the bottom of that drawer. You got a standard microwave, so run on your shore power plug-in or your generator. Got your levels test here. Push the button to tell how much is in your holding tanks, your gray, black, and your fresh water. Those can be finicky, so don't always trust those. Got your LP gas detector there. See how much uh, propane you've got in your tank and your coach battery. Turn your water pump on off here. That will pump the water out of the onboard fresh water tank. Hood light and fan. Got a three burner propane cooktop. Got an actual oven. Got a three-way fridge freezer. So this is a three-way, meaning it runs on AC. So your coach, or excuse me, your shore power plug-in or your generator. DC, meaning your coach battery or propane gas. We've got directions there in the bottom of the box and it's all controlled here via the buttons on the front. I'd recommend leaving that on the auto setting. That'll do what it needs to do to stay cool as long as you have the appropriate fuel. Got a screen door entry. Not too much of a step up and in. AC plug-in, fire extinguisher. Got some of your light switches here. Got your awning crank there on the left. Nice big closet. A Noxus gas detector, start stop switch for the Onan 4K generator. That's a fresh service, fresh oil changed by our certified Onan techs that has 25 hours. Stepping now into the bathroom area. Not much of a step up and in, very easily accessible. medicine cabinet that opens. Pull a curtain around this track to help contain the water. Got an exhaust fan and light overhead. Space for this being a wet, uh, wet bath, this is a one piece fiberglass room, or not quite one piece, but a fiberglass room. You're gonna do all your business in here and everything's gonna drain into the floor there. Here we are standing in the rear of the Chinook. What did one Dorito farmer say to the other? Cool Ranch. Got a TV here with a built-in DVD player. This little box here is an inverter. You can turn that on and off with the switch there. That takes the DC coach battery, inverts it back to AC, so you can plug something in. Got a couple USBs there as well. Got some windshield covers, a bunch of manuals. Got a curtain that you can snap in to block off the front area for privacy. Nice big storage area here. So all in all, we've got a really, really nice Chinook here for a 1999. I'm going to say you're going to have a hard time finding many that are nicer than this. It's very clean inside and out. Got a couple of spots here and there cosmetically, uh, but really, really clean. I'm going to call this one a 9.5 out of 10. Check it out at truckandrv.com. Coon Truck and RV, the best little RV dealer around since 1976 and home of the RV Brothers. Up here in the cabin area, we got power windows, power locks, power mirrors, tilt, cruise, CD player with USB and auxiliary in. The upholstery is very clean. Not seeing any signs of smoking. No stains, burns, no funny smells. The cigarette lighter is unused. So while it's tough to say for sure, I'm going to call this one a non-smoker. Got a little glove box down bottom here. Up top here, we've got your driving lights, your vehicle boost start. This will take and jump start you off of the coach batteries if you were to run the chassis battery dead. Got a generator start stop here and your coach battery disconnect. You can turn this off to prevent parasitic draw when you're not using the RV. Otherwise, you'll want that on so it doesn't disconnect your charging systems to the coach battery, which are your shore power plug-in, your generator, and your alternator while you drive. Alrighty, folks, we're gonna go around the outside of this 1999 Chinook Concourse. This RV measures 20 and a half feet bumper to bumper with a nine foot manual awning. It has six brand new tires. 
The Chinook is built on a Ford E350 chassis with a 6.8 liter V10 engine with 22,427 miles. The person that we acquired this unit from told us that they acquired it from the original owner and that it was stored in a barn. I'd say this unit definitely looks like it was. It's very, very clean, very shiny. Got your furnace exhaust here. Got two 110 outlets to plug things in beneath the awning. Got your engine exhaust, your generator exhaust. Got your generator inside of here. This is the back of your refrigerator. We've got these little clevises here are for the awning legs. The legs are inside of the awning itself. I prefer to run those directly to the ground, use a tent stake as people can walk through here and break your awning legs. We've got the top of the refrigerator here. We've got a solar panel up top. These big uh, covers you're seeing on the front and the back over here, those are Max Air fan vent covers to cover the fantastic fan and the exhaust fan in the bathroom. That allows you to have those open while it's raining or while you're driving. Around the back, got a ladder for rooftop access, backup camera, that exhaust fan cover there. Got a tow package, got an outside shower, it's convenient for kids, pets, going to the beach, things like that. Storage compartment here. Come around to the driver's side. Got your TV antenna, toilet vent. We've got a sewer flush here, sewer hose storage. Got your sewer dump, got your black and your gray. Dump the black first, then the gray. The fuel fill for the engine and the generator. Generator will stop running around a quarter tank, so you cannot run yourself out of fuel. Got your shore power cord here. It's a 30 amp 110 shore power cord that's attached to the RV. Got the fill for the onboard fresh water tank, the city water fill. Okay, nice big storage compartment here. Two coach batteries, back of the water heater. Got TV and cable or telephone in. Get you a little closer to the unit here. A little bit of age there on the Chinook. Couple little marks there, but all in all, it's a really, really nice looking coach. Take it out up front here. Nothing see sun fading up front here. Very nice, clean Chinook. Ready to hit the highway. Mm -hmm.